Hey everyone, this is uh, Eugene with Flipcool FX. Um, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up a uh, alert on your MT4. Now, on this tutorial, we're going to be talking about two types of alert. Uh, one's the sound alert, and number two is how to set up a uh, push notification on your mobile device. Now, as far as the uh, these alerts, uh, we're talking about price level alerts here, um, which is ba it's a very basic way of uh, notifying you of when a particular price reached a certain level. Maybe you're looking for your particular signal or setup, and if it reaches that level you wanted a sound alert so it kind of gives you a warning for a potential trade now for my students you know this is going to be very useful um, if you already have your your signal set up and all you're doing is waiting for an entry anchor point then you can set up a sound alert on this one and for the um, mobile notification um, also an excellent way if you're going to be stepping away from your computer and you're not going to be able to hear the uh, the sound alert per se um, you can um, set it up where it's going to actually send you a, um, a push notification somewhat of like a, a text uh, message um, to your phone and um, so you can get on the um, uh, the chart uh, whether it be through your app or in front of the uh, computer or the desktop um, to either exit or enter a trade so let's go to the charts here and um, let's talk about how to set up the, uh, the MT4 sound alert alright so once you have your MT4 all opened up um, this is um, GPB USD. So, for instance, you know, we're looking for an alert on. You know, I'm just going to randomly put a price here. Let's say, you know, I, I'm waiting for the price to get up to this level, and I want MT4 to make a sound once it hits this price level to alert me for potentially, you know, going on a sell trade. Um, opposite to that, clearly, you can put it somewhere, you know, in the bottom. You know, if you're looking for a buy trade, and you just basically set, you want to set this price up, so it's going to give you the alert um, that you need, um, so you don't miss a trade. So what you want to do to set up the alert is um, click on view and on your view there's going to be the terminal option and go ahead and click on terminal or you can do control T that's going to open up your terminal or you can actually just use the icon on the um, on the main um, toolbar of the uh, MT4 so just click on that and it's going to open up um, a box here so underneath here there's going to be different um, uh, different options you got your trade exposure account history news alert mailbox etc etc and what you want to do is you want to click on the alerts tab and because this is how you're going to be creating your alert once you are on the alerts tab put your cursor in the uh, main box and then just right click it and once you right click it it's going to open up this option and just click on create and now you have um, this um, create um, alert editor so the first thing you want to do is you want to enable it and then the second part is the action um, what you want is a sound notification that's the sound it's basically once again you want to wait for the uh, price to reach a certain level and make a sound um, the next thing that you have to set up is your expiration now you know if you are just you know looking to have a expiration date for within the day then you can just set it up here accordingly or if you feel like there's really no expiration per se you know you can just put it at the end of the week so for this instance for example today's the 22nd as I'm doing this uh, recording um, we're gonna do it on the 28th as far as expiration and then you wanna click on the symbol that you want the alert to be set. Um, again, we are looking at the uh, GPB USD. So we're going to look for the GPB USD. So we're going to click on that. And then the next is the condition. So the first alert that we want to set is for the price 1.50610. So, you know, where the current um, where the current prices are now, it's it's in it's in the middle of the uh, the high and the low that we set, and we're looking for the price to hit this level um, to alert us and you know like I said potentially give us a trade. So what you want to do in the condition is you have a couple different options here. You can do a bid less than 
bid greater than, ask less than, or ask greater than. Now, for if you're looking for the price to go up, what you want to do is you want to hit on the bid greater than. So as, as soon as the price touches this line and it goes just even just one micro pip above this line, it's going to establish that. Um, establish that uh, sound alert and then next what you want to do is you want to put on the value so again that is the price here which is um, 1.50610 so that is the price level that you want the um, um, the alert to occur and then the next um, uh, settings here that you need to do is the source so here depending on the action that you choose it's going to give you the type of source uh, clearly this is a sound alert so you get to choose different sound here you can do alert one alert two or whatever but just for this example we'll just do an alert and here the next option is your timeout um, when you open up this box it's going to give you 10 seconds 30 seconds three minutes or you know 15 minutes an hour uh, but what basically this is is that it's um, you're setting it that let's say for 10 seconds that you know it's going to give you an alert once the the price has been triggered it's going to give you an alert every 10 seconds and you can keep it at you know every 10 seconds or 30 seconds or every minute three minutes it's up to you so for this example let's just set it at 10 seconds and then the last setting here is the maximum iteration which is basically the number of times it's going to give you an alert so you can go for one three five ten fifty or a thousand times uh, I think a thousand is a little bit of an overkill so if you want you know you want to be alerted at least 50 times hopefully that's going to be enough time to get your attention so once you have all of this um, set and all you need to do is click on the test and when you click on that test it's going to give you that sound alert I'm not sure if you heard it um, but there we go hopefully you heard that but if not it's okay but you are pretty sure you'll hear it in your own computer um, so that means everything is set and all you need to do is click on OK and as you can see here on your alert um, journal now you have established an alert for this particular price level once again the price goes up there and it's going to give you that alert so now let's do let's create another alert which is for the lower line here so what we're looking for is that if the price for example goes um, uh, below this price level you want the computer to give you a, a sound alert or the MT4 to give you a sound alert so again same procedure just put on your cursor in an empty area here and then right click hit on create um, enable sound again the expiration date you know I, if there's really no expiration date, you know, I typically just put it on the end of the week. Um, choose the symbol that you're setting this up. Again, this is GPB USD. And this time, since we're doing a price to go down, instead of putting on bid greater than, we're looking at ask less than. So click on that and we put on the value. And the value here is one point one point four six six nine eight so once again you know ask less than so what that means is that when the price goes below um, this level even if it's just mic one micro pip it's going to give you that sound alert and once again you, as far as the source you keep it on alert and timeout 10 seconds pretty much the same setup that I, I did on the um, on the bid alert so again click on test and then click on OK so now you have two alerts in there and once the uh, once again either when the price hits the this line or the lower line uh, it's going to create that sound alert for you so just make sure that you have a, a good uh, speaker on and uh, with a good volume so you'll be able to hear it so now you don't have to sit in front of the computer per se if you are at home trading but you need to do something else um, you can just set it up this way and as soon as you hear the sound you can just run to your computer and look for a potentially you know for for an entry trade or maybe you needed to close a trade um, you can also use that so that's how you set up the sound alert on the MT4 so the next 
thing here that we're going to do is we want to set up to a push notification on our smartphone. So if we actually have to go away away from the computer, like away from the house, you know, wherever you're trading, you're not going to be physically there. Um, you want to be notified for either a, um, a potential trade or you have to close a trade, then this is going to be a great alert um, system that you can use so you don't miss out any opportunity or or close a trade that you needed to close. So let's go back to the uh, slides here real quick. So now for the uh, MT4 um, mobile uh, push notification, the first thing that you want to do is you want to download the MetaTrader 4 app. So whether you have an iPhone or an Android device, uh, you can download the MetaTrader 4 app and put in your proper credential in there as far as your login information, your password, and it's a pretty much self-explanatory, very easy to set up. So anyway, so once you have that done, um, you have the app downloaded. So what you need to do is you need to click on the app open that up and once you open that app it's going to bring you into this um, home screen which is where your your rates are your charts are and the first thing that you want to do is you want to hit on the uh, settings and after you click on that settings you know it's going to give you it's going to bring you into this page um, what you want to click on the settings page is you want to hit on messages you want to click on messages after you click on messages it's going to bring you to this page but don't worry about this other stuff what's important is this this meta code id um, write this number down whatever it is that's on your um, app so because you're going to need this to plug this into your mt4 um, platform so get that id number and then once you get you wrote, you finish writing that id number down um, go ahead and open up your your mt4 trading platform so now that you're back on your mt4 trading platform again you have that id number ready from your app what you want to do is you want to hit, uh, click on tools up here and after you click on tools click on options and then it's going to open up this box and again there's going to be different tabs here and what I'd like you to do is um, click on notification now on the notifications uh, page or tab um, you want to enable your push notification now the other option here is to notify of trade transaction and you can either turn this off or on but what this basically does is that if you have this thing on um, let's say you're you know even though you're trading in front of your computer every time that you do a transaction whether it is that you open up a trade or close a trade it's going to give you a push notification on your um, on your mobile device so just um, you know it's up to you if you want to do that or not um, you know maybe if you're gonna go away and you have a take profit and that you're waiting to be triggered as well so you can just turn this thing on and then as soon as that take profit occurs you know it's gonna actually give you a push notification so once you have that done you this is where you enter your your ID number from your app um, just enter it there I already have mine set up and what you want to do is you just want to make sure that the functionality is correct you just want to hit on test and after you hit on test it's going to give you this box which is notification was successfully queued um, just close that up or click on OK and you should get the, um, the notification from your iPhone or your Android device pretty much instantaneously um, so it, it also gives you an idea how fast the notification occurs um, when a price gets triggered so once you have this thing done um, done and set up just click on OK and that will close up the tab and now let's go ahead and um, for the same um, alert that we've set up earlier for the sound alert now this time let's set up a um, um, a push notification alert now again you know, you're on your alert you open up your terminal and you click on alerts and you open up your um, your terminal alert bar or, or page and then click on create and enable now on the action instead of doing a sound alert what you want to do is you want to choose notifications and then again you have to set up an expiry so you know, like I said, you know, just do whatever you want. Uh, typically, at the end of the week, choose the symbol and GPB USD, and then the condition. You know, for the um, for the upper line, you know, you want to be at a bid greater, and then just put on the value in there, which is um, 
what we've done is 1.50610 um, and then for the source and this is the nice thing about the push notification now for the source you can actually just type in whatever message that you like here um, you know you can put here um, uh, price to the high level you know price to the high level potential oops I can't even spell <laughs> potential potential uh, sell trade right so you put it in there and again you have to set up the timeout like how many times that you want it to uh, send you an alert um, but this time actually I'm sorry it's just gonna do one time it, this is really irrelevant but just go ahead and put it in under 10 seconds and um, click on test and after you click on test again it's gonna give you this uh, notification box and look at your iPhone or your Android device and you should see there that you've gotten a message whatever that you've written here in the source it should be the same message as what it would show up on your um, smartphone device so once you have that set you just click on OK and you are good to go so just a quick um, wrap up here so every time you set up a alert system um, you have to you know for the GPP USD for example you know for the buy um, or for a sell trade you have to do one for the sound alert and you have to do one for the notification so they don't really work together in a way because you have to set them up separately so and again if you wanted to do a notification on the bottom line here you can do the exact same thing right click hit on create and notification expiration again just whenever you want to have it to expire no expiration just you know put it as far as as possible um, use the um, the proper symbol that you want the notification to be set and um, again since we're looking at uh, a lower price here for where the current price you want it to be an ask less than and then you enter that value line which is 1.46698 and then again put on the uh, source you know possible possible buy trade right GBB USD and again hit on test make sure that everything is correct and then you're gonna get that notification um, it takes roughly um, anywhere between two seconds on average three seconds to get that notification and then just click on OK and now you have all of your alerts set up in here so and that's how you set up the alerts now the next thing you want to do is like if your alert has been triggered and you say okay I don't need this anymore I just want to go ahead and delete this uh, very easy just um, open up your terminal go to alerts and then it lists all your alerts here and just click on the alert that you want to delete or turn off once it's highlight right click it and you can either create modify delete enable on off like if you want to save it for a later date you can just turn it off or you can just completely delete it so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing so just delete it delete and delete and um, that's it very easy very simple uh, very useful um, so you don't have to get glued in front of your computer all the time now keep in mind this alert again is for price levels um, this is not for indicators um, or, or your EA so there's a different way of formatting that um, I don't use any indicators um, I frankly don't see the point of using any if you know how to read the market but anyway if that is something that you want to do then there are other instructional videos out there it's just unfortunately since I don't use it I, I don't know how to set it up on an EA so and that's it so um, hopefully this helps and um, if you want any more tips on um, how to trade the Forex market, you can just follow me on Facebook or you can uh, visit me or visit my website at uh, www.flipcoofx.com. Thank you and I hope, I hope you're having a great day.